I think the idea of self being a process is, is uh, more like what a pragmatist would, would see. The process is, is uh, dialogue. Cells are internal dialogues. There are two or maybe three aspects. I and me is a, is a paraphrase of terms that are often used. The conversation, the internal conversation is going on all the time. We're talking to ourselves or something like that. And that goes on uh, throughout the day as a kind of flashlight. We, it's a self-regulatory device. We figure out what we're going to do today from hour to hour with a person and so on by talking it over with ourselves. The talking is not always real loud. It might almost be unconscious. But we're constantly, even when we're talking to someone else, we're talking to ourselves about the conversation. So the inner dialogue is, that's not a substance, obviously. That's very decentered. But that's the no, very highly noticeable feature of the self, which uh, you, we carry from year to year, this internal uh, conversation. I mean, those can be unhealthy. When you're, when, you're, when you're psychologically disturbed, the internal conversation goes bad. For example, schizophrenics hear the internal conversation as external, and they say, officer, God told me to kill my children. That's why I did it. We have those awful stories about what, what happens to the internal conversation for people who are disturbed. But if you're not disturbed, that's how you get through life with that thing. And uh, everybody has it. Everybody uses it. And that's our resource. So that would be the, the way uh, a pragmatist would look at the self, not as a substance or something you're trying to attain. It's something you're trying to use. 